Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Gaming here. I am back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Napoleonic Wars mod. Uh, now today we have a very large bridge defense here uh, with a whole bunch of cold stream guards defending um, their side of the bridge and the French apparently decided this bridge is essential so we're going to throw a crap ton of guys at it. I don't personally think we even have enough to take the bridge right now. Maybe that'll do. We can always spawn in more uh, later on. Um, the British do have one artillery piece. I think they fixed it so that the artillery will actually target infantry now. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't been keeping super up to date with the mod, but um, I'm hoping that they did. Either way, this should be a fun battle, so why don't we go ahead and get started here. Alright, well, uh, let's send, I guess, one unit forward as recon. And whoops, there we go. And uh, the rest will probably follow uh, once the uh, the shots get fired. Here we go. Looking pretty cool. All right. Oh, here we go. The uh, the first shots getting fired of the battle. Looks like uh, the artillery does not work, and you might have just seen Danny's uh, message that. If we change it to HE, it would make shell craters in the ground. Well, who cares if there are shell craters in the ground? That's fine. Um, either way, the bridge actually got busted there. Um, okay, I need to go fucking offline because this guy messages like one message at a time and you end up bleeping a thousand times. It's really annoying. Um, either way, um, looks like there are some uh, French soldiers trapped in the middle of the bridge here. Um, some guys just like crawling on the ground. Are they able to get onto the bridge at all? It looks like no. Oh, they can. They can. They can hop onto the bridge. Let's try and get these guys onto the bridge. It's a pretty bad choke point for the French here, uh, having to go forward and stop and go. It's it's not a it's not a good place for them to be. The uh, cannons still geared up, ready to fire. Boom! Another section of the bridge going down. Um, actually, that killed so many French people. <laughs> um, whoops, maybe I should stop doing that. Um, but let's just get them onto the bridge here. Because um, it does look as though... Yeah, I think they can just straight up cross through the water either way. It's not a big deal if we take out sections of the bridge. Let's get some French reinforcements in here, too, because um, they are going to need some. And it looks like the British are actually holding really, really well here. They're not even taking that many losses. Um, fairly strong defense. They're all reloading on the side here. And we'll wait for them to... Oh, they're all going to... There we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful fire there. I love it when they all get up and fire at once. Uh, let's just say that the uh, the cannon ran out of ammo, so now we can uh, hop these guys. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, hop these guys off of it, and they can join the uh, the defense here. Ooh, that guy got pegged from behind the wall. That's rough. That's a rough little spot there. Not many dying on the uh, the right side here. I don't think I'm going to give the French any more reinforcements because I do think they have enough to uh, to probably take the force now, fort now. Um, they do have more than the British because many of them are in the water um, trying to crawl forward, getting shots off when they can. They're fairly spread out, so the, uh, the British fire shouldn't hurt them too bad. Looks like a couple just went down there. Um, they're still crawling forward. <laughs> Oh, they can just barely, like, walk in the water with their hats poking up. One of them has made it to the last section of the bridge here. Fired off a shot. The closer they get, the better their accuracy will be. They really want to get close here because, uh, at far distances, the, uh, the Brits have the, have the advantage. Because they also have cover and, uh, you know, that, that makes a lot of difference. That guy goes down from behind the wall. There goes another. Oh, boy, the French are really starting to give the British a beating here. Um, actually, quite a few died on the left over here. I didn't even realize yet. 
It's a whole bunch of blood and stuff. Oh boy. Um, they're swimming for it or, you know, crawling for it on the, <laughs> the very end of the bridge here. Firing as they can. Pretty cool battle, I would say. Um, not too shabby. I didn't realize the bridge would collapse, but it did add a, a certain element to the battle, I guess. <laughs> you know. Alright, and they're coming forward just little by little. Oh, my phone just came off the hook. There we go. Alright. Um, I mean, they're making it forward slowly. I like how this guy's just, like, dead against the wall. That looks really cool, actually. Not bad. Um, I mean, now the Brits are getting overwhelmed. We've even got French guys just right up against their own barracks. Not a good time for the British. Not a good time at all. Um, the French still going down. That guy actually just got annihilated. Look, his head disappeared and all that's left is a hat. Um, I honestly did think a lot more French would die because of the choke point, but I think once they got to this section of the bridge, they really just started to dominate the, uh, the British here. They only had a few more men than the British as well. You know, not too many more, but apparently it made the difference here. Who knows, maybe the, the British will get some really good strings of, strings of shots here. Although I somewhat doubt it. Um, we've even still got French out there in the in the middle of a lake. But they're slowly heading forward. French going down right here. Um, just real close range fighting here now. Let's, uh... So, we found a cannonball. Someone get on the, uh, the cannon. Fire it. Come on. Fire! Yes! Alright, now we're really out of ammo. <laughs> oh, GG. Um, the last section of the bridge getting blown up along with many, many Frenchmen. I don't think that's going to even make the difference for the British, though. With, uh, with so few men to, to claim victory with. This guy's reloading while laying down. Oh, man, he just died. Okay. But, I mean... They're, they're making a hell of a stand, I will say that. Pretty cool battle. I actually kind of like the destructible bridge, even though it made it a little bit weirder of a battle, but I think it looks cool with the you know blown up portions of the bridge and the dead men all over it. Look at that. All the men in the lake. <laughs> it's kind of cool, you gotta admit. Um, let's, get a, let's get a screenshot of that. Okay. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty swifty. Oh, we've got a French guy right here taking on four or five, I can't tell. Looks like five. Uh, Brits. Oh, that guy just got sniped in the head. Um, French coming awfully close now. It's really, it's just a matter of time. There we go. Slowly taking out the British. I really, really want an American Civil War mod now. Like Born in the Fire. Ah, oh, such a good mod. I miss it now. I don't know. I just, I love the American Civil War. I think it's a really cool time period, and I'd love to, love to see another mod with it. Um, but it looks like the end of the British reign of the bridge, although the bridge is kind of non-existent, so I guess... Maybe the British wanted that. Maybe they wanted to destroy sections of the bridge so the uh, the French couldn't use it to transport guns or something like that forward. So maybe it worked out well for them. Um, certainly didn't work out well for the for the French to have their entire bridge collapse. But that's all right. Just sending the uh, the French forces forward to annihilate the British. There's this guy here. Let's bayonet charge him. Attack. Got two more over here. Attack! Attack! Oh, stab him! No, why wouldn't you stab him? Oh, jeez. There we go! Successful! Bayonet charge. Oh, here we go. Oh. He's the last British guy. Oh! He just exploded. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. It turned out to be quite a bloody battle. Um, 
Lots of deaths all around. I don't know why, but I always have the French attack. I don't know. Interesting. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I'll talk to you all later. Peace. Uh,